Hi, this is Corey. What I'm going to do is give you a quick tutorial here on how we can make some pipes in Maya. So I'm just going to put on the grid here just so we've got something to work with. And I'm going to start with my Bezier curve tool. And so I'll just start dropping down some points here. Click and drag to define a curve shape. I'm not really clicking to the grid, I'm just using that to help me define where I'm putting my points so that I get more or less the shape that I'm looking for. So I'll just take one here, maybe something like this. So we have a curve shape like that. And now we want to put some pipes on that. So the easiest thing to do is go to Paint Effects, Curve Utilities, Attach Brush to Curves, and you'll get a pipe on there. Now what you may see is some twists in this depending on how your curve was set up. The easiest thing to do on your stroke shape is just turn on Use Normal and that should generally clean that right up. So you see now the twists are gone. And the next thing I'll do is just switch over to the brush node there and uh, increase my scale so I get the pipes to the, the thickness that I want. So the other thing you may want to look at is your tube section, so if you want more detail on your pipe, you can bring that up or bring it back down to get the level of detail that you're looking for. There's a whole bunch of other attributes that you can play with, but I think those are the main ones. Is um, you know global scale, brush type, you want to set that to mesh, and your tube sections here under mesh. So with that done, now you can go modify, convert, and say paint effects to polygons. When I open this up, the one thing I want to point out is quad output. I like that. So quads are nice to deal with. And now I have a poly mesh. So, if you want, you can take that now and assign any material. So, let's assign a blend so we get a nice pipe look to it. What you may see is based on the, the detail there, this is defined by the curve, and I'll, I'll do another part about dealing with the curve, but what you can do here is, you know, the standard tools just for cleaning some of that up. So if I grab this stuff in the background, let's hide it so we can focus on this. I'll go back into wireframe mode here. Or I could go actually, let's do wireframe unshaded. So I've got some curves there that I don't want. So I'll just pick some of these edges. So I'll pick this one. This one and this one. So control right mouse, edge loop utilities, edge loop. That'll pick all of those loops. And shift right mouse button, delete edge. So you can just clean that up right away and then those areas disappear. You can do that again for sections through the middle of the pipe like this if you don't want it. So very quickly and easily start reducing that if, if you're concerned about the poly count. So that's the basics. I'll record another video after this to show you some of the tricks when dealing with the curve shape to uh, avoid some of those kinks in it.